The Statistician General released the report on mortality and causes of death in the country yesterday. The leading underlying natural causes of death amongst Africans in 2015 were tuberculosis and diabetes. Statistics South Africa said on Tuesday tuberculosis was responsible for 8.3% of deaths among males, while among women diabetes was the leading underlying natural cause of death, responsible for 7.1% of these deaths. The institution analyzed 10 leading underlying natural causes of death and results showed that six of the top 10 causes were non-communicable diseases, while the other four were communicable diseases. Well, joining us in studio is Statistician General Badele Hotla. A very good morning to you, sir. Thank you so morning, much for morning. joining us. Good morning, uh, listeners. Well, just uh, reflecting on the report that you gave out yesterday, we've got tuberculosis as well as, um, uh, I think, uh, HIV. Diabetes. Uh, diabetes, pardon me, mm. uh, as part of the highest uh, leading causes for natural deaths. Why do you think that's so when we have so many drives to have screenings of, you know, diabetes, early detection and, you know, treatment and diagnosis? Well, I mean, uh, that, that, that would be important. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, we are getting our information from the dead. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to know what uh, the living are suffering from. So we need a mobility surveillance uh, programs uh, in order to know the health of the, those who are alive. Uh, the problem is that people only go to a doctor when they are ill. So there is no process by which we know the living conditions or health conditions of society. Only upon death do we know that. So in terms of that, uh, we know that TB uh, is the biggest killer amongst males and uh, diabetes, diabetes amongst uh, women. And the age profile of those who die from TB are much younger, uh, males uh, 30, that starts uh, kicking in. Uh, whereas uh, diabetes amongst women uh, starts kicking in at uh, the ages of 60. That's uh, the kind of uh, profile of diseases, uh, or rather what kills South Africans. Now, looking at the comparative stats in relation to medical aid coverage and the deaths, what can you comment on that? Uh, well, I mean, a private medical aid has very little coverage, and uh, of course, uh, people use public uh, hospitals most of the time, uh, naturally, uh, because uh, they are free and uh, they are accessible. Uh, so, medical aid by itself uh, doesn't have uh, that prominent coverage by race. Uh, only 10% of blacks, I think, uh, are covered by medical aid, or amongst whites, much higher. So it shows the fault lines of, uh, of our, our past. So uh, th that's, that's the situation. And how do you think uh, mobility rates could actually be reduced? You mentioned probably having a way to study um, from the living people what it is that they suffer from on a day-to-day -day basis. You, you need surveillance um, because uh, naturally or other people's behavior is to go to a doctor when they are ill, uh, when actually there might have been an onset of a condition uh, in them that they are not able to see uh, except when they are already uh, uh, the, the, the disease has taken a toll on them. Mm -hmm. So there has to be surveillance uh, processes where a randomized sample of uh, communities, they, something like uh, the um, health sites uh, that are run in Dikhale and uh, in, um, in Dikhale and Limpopo and so on, mm -hmm. uh, those surveillance sites are very important to track uh, mobility conditions. Um, and that will be supplemented by actual ailments of people who go to doctors. There has to be a coordinated way in which the private sector doctors and the public sector information is brought together to know the extent of disease. Death is almost a definitive provider of the information of mobility conditions, of mobility conditions in South Africa. But it, those mobility conditions are known too late when people are already dead. Mm -hmm. So we need a, a, a warning system uh, that uh, it helps us to understand uh, what uh, the health conditions of society are. Well, you've mentioned the surveillance in Limpopo. Are there any plans um, to have more of those kinds of surveillance projects in other parts of the province? I mean, other uh, well, in, uh, in KwaZulu Natal, uh, there is also, I mean, uh, the, in uh, Tlabisa, there is that. But all those surveillance sites in Tlabisa were about eight. But uh, the one in Limpopo has been a long standing uh, surveillance site, site for, since 1993. It's, it's part and parcel of a a, a set of surveillance sites uh, across the world uh, where diseases are su uh, su surveyed uh, across a period of time. Mm -hmm. So these surveillance sites are very important. I know that uh, uh, the Department of uh, uh, Science and Technology have allocated resources uh, to uh, the 
in that in South Africa uh, to deal uh, with the surveillance. And uh, 500,000 people mm -hmm. uh, will be uh, in that uh, sample okay. uh, to be tracked on their health conditions. And that will give us a sense of what is happening in South Africa. Right, now with the top 10 causes um, of uh, 10 underlying and natural causes of death, um, I think some of them, were, most of them were actually non-communicable diseases, while the other four were actually communicable diseases. Now, what does that tell the, the health department? How should they react to information like that, stats like that? Uh, well, I think um, ultimately people will die and uh, they will die from morbidity conditions or unnatural causes. Um, but uh, I think uh, the important thing is to know what are the drivers of, uh, morbi of morbidity, what kinds of diseases. Uh, for instance, we know that TB is still number one communicable disease and then we are seeing lifestyle diseases uh, particularly attacking women such as uh, diabetes. So one has to look at uh, how do we leverage. I mean, TB is known to be curable, diabetes is a lifestyle disease. Mm -hmm. So um, mobility conditions can, can, can change and I think a health department knows that, uh, the health specialists know that, but when they see the data then they can know where to target because mm -hmm. these are uh, differential by, by race, by sex, by exactly. geography. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much for no your problem. time and for shedding light on that. That was uh, Statistician General uh, Badi Lehotla just giving us some insight into the report he released yesterday on uh, mortality and causes of death in the country.